Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and to nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity, then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great day Now today, I am going to talk about a boy who mutated his own DNA in order to completely become immune to all diseases found on Earth and uh, the power of our DNA and activating the several different codons for coming into mutated states of high immunity towards some of the incurable diseases throughout the globe so today's video is alien dna now so let's get right into it, alright? I actually got um, all of this written down from a book that I read, uh, which is The Secrets of the Flower of Life, or The Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life, written by Drunvalo Melchizedek. And uh, yeah, it was a great book. Go check it out for yourself and come into knowledge. Either way, um, I got this off of that book. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go over it right now with you guys. So... Doctors at UCLA began examining a boy who was born with AIDS. So doctors at UCLA were examining a boy who was born with AIDS. Okay, keep that in mind. This boy was born with AIDS. He had AIDS throughout the first year of his life. So very unfortunate okay this boy was literally born with aids and for the first year of his life he had to be getting examined by doctors at ucla okay and uh he had aids throughout the first year of his life at the age of five after not being checked until this age he was checked and miraculously the disease or the AIDS were completely gone okay so this boy was born with AIDS and for the first few years of his life he had to be he had to be examined by the doctors at U UCLA okay and then he wasn't checked for a long time after that or a few years after all of that and then at the age of five he was then checked again by the doctors at UCLA and miraculously the AIDS, the disease was completely gone, okay? And this is where the doctors at the UCLA were starting to get astonished. So let's continue. All traces of the virus were completely gone 
They did not understand how his system became so immune, especially to such a deadly virus like AIDS, okay? It literally was so immune and it was literally just healing itself up and they did not know how AIDS, such a unfortunate and tragic virus to get, was literally um, gone. It literally healed itself from this boy, okay? They checked everything and inevitably they found nothing to basically back up the fact that the AIDS were completely healed of themselves, okay? So keep that in mind. Finally, once they started checking the DNA of the boy, they finally found that this is where the difference was, okay? So this boy's DNA was different from any one other person. He was literally going through mutations because of the AIDS, okay? And I'm going to get into this. Check it out. They checked everything and found nothing until finally they checked his DNA and then they found that it literally mutated itself and this boy literally had alien DNA. Okay, so it's very, very, very um, phenomenal, you know, that such a mutation can literally take place all of itself or with AIDS. A very very deadly virus forming as the catalyst for such a mutation to take place in the DNA of this young boy and all of this is true once again okay this is not a, a fake story this is very very true okay and uh, the point of this story is to get you a knowledge of such phenomena or such happenings or such mutations or even um, allowing you to come into the same type of mutation for yourself which i'm gonna get further into what is going on in this story okay so once again he had alien dna now his dna was mutated and age was actually the catalyst to bring out such a mutation that this boy went through then was blessed with such a high immunity compared to other people throughout the world okay he was no longer human. He was literally an alien amongst normal humans, okay? Be because there was plenty of people with normal immune systems and normal DNA, but this kid was literally alien. Remember what alien means. Alienation means to be far different from all people around you or everybody else around you, which this boy was. He was completely different within the dimensions of his DNA meaning he was holding alien DNA okay which we all do if you really understand DNA then we are all alienated due to the fact that all of our DNA is completely different but also the majority of the DNA is actually very very similar to each other as well we all share like 99% of the same DNA I believe it is or something like that you know we have 64 codons in our DNA and this is where it gets good guys so this is where you're gonna learn something about DNA everybody has 64 codons in our DNA okay in normal humans only 20 codons are turned on so out of those 64 in normal humans 20 of these 64 codons are turned on okay the rest which is 41 are not turned on those 41 are inert they're in a state of inertia okay and 41 plus 20 is 61 there's still three more which is also um 
three that are turned on as well but are only um turn they're only turned on for stop and go programs so there is 20 that are turned on for specific expression or specific things there is 41 that are completely inert completely turned off and in a state of inertia and then there are also three more that are also turned on for simple start and go programs okay and then that's 64 in all 64 codons the young boy had 24 codons turned on so out of those 20 that are turned on for all people he this boy who was literally cured or healed of AIDS all of an all on his own had 24 codons turned on in comparison to the normal 20 of any other person or human okay so he had four more turned on which we as normal people usually don't have turned on okay and due to those four more codons that were turned on he literally naturally went through a state of mutation okay which made him immune and it allowed him to heal himself from AIDS so these four more codons actually allowed him to heal himself from AIDS and his immune system was literally 3,000 times stronger than that of a normal human who has only 20 codons turned on which he had four more only four more codons turned on in his DNA which allowed him to be 3,000 times stronger when it came to his immune system and then from that he completely healed himself without any medicine from AIDS okay and this was literally evident in the fact that um, all the research is there and he was literally an alien amongst humans he had alien DNA okay the boy was now an alien and immune to all known diseases and viruses okay so that's basically a little um, a little story it's also true by the way of a boy going through a mutation with AIDS forming as a catalyst for his DNA to be activated so basically our DNA is um, mostly talked about having junk DNA there is like literally uh, 2% or 3% or something like that or even 1% or even less than 1% of our DNA that is basically uh known and then uh 97 or more percent of that dna is basically called the junk dna okay this is this is the truth this is what they're calling it they're calling the majority of our dna the percentage junk dna now all of the junk dna and all of the information encoded within that amount of our dna is literally holding all of our um, superpowers all of our godliness all of our um, vibrational nature you know just by this boy being able to turn on four more codons he was literally 3,000 times stronger when it came to his immune system and that's just four codons imagine if we were able to come to activate 50% or more of our DNA we would literally be able to be flying around we would literally be able to be levitating we would literally be immune from all diseases everywhere on the globe we would literally be transcendental in nature if you are not already if you already are not you know transcendental we would literally be um very very powerful beings if more than 50 percent of our dna was turned on and this is the reason why the anunnaki designed it to where we are only um turning on 20 codons you know the anunnaki were the gods who created us and still are the gods who created us and they literally control our dna because if they control our dna they allow 
certain expression to take place because DNA and genetics actually, um, it actually decides our expression in the way that your eyes are only brown due to your genetic information, okay, and it ties in with DNA, and the Anunnaki who created us literally know this, and they literally uh, keep it a slow process when it comes to our DNA, meaning the Anunnaki are not always going to allow us to turn on four more codons out of the 20 or even turn on half of the 64 codons remember there is at least 41 codons that are completely turned off if four more are turned on just like the boy who is holding alien dna then there would be no more disease because this boy was literally curing himself of aids he had an immune system that was 3,000 times stronger and uh, that was only from four more codons being turned on okay and if half of those 41 that are completely inert are turned on then we would literally be super powerful we would literally be um, complete gods just like the Anunnaki the Anunnaki have a lot of their DNA turned on and this is why they are gods in nature they don't even have a reason to die they have transcended death completely and this is where humanity is going but it's going to take millennia it's going to take thousands of years before we are able to utilize the codons that are turned off within the 64 and probably even more so i do thank you guys for watching once again i gave you a little enjoyable story on uh, a boy who actually cured himself of aids completely naturally without medicine through dna mutation okay so subscribe over here to the left of me and help me reach 50 subs for more content drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again generate some static electricity from the ethereal body or the spatial body it needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise of consciousness i love you guys have a great day and peace out